probably don't know how to get into calisthenics. Well, I get it. I was in the exact same position as you. You see all these impossible moves on Instagram, like the front levers, human flex, and planches. Well, if you really want to learn these superhuman moves, I will show you how to start. First of all, in theory, you don't really need any equipment. But I know that if I would give myself a calisthenics starter pack, I would definitely get a doorway bar like this one, a light rubber band, and some parallels. You could make them at home, just like I did. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing we need is some bent arm exercises. These are essential as they target your push muscles. Here's a few key exercises. Obviously, we have the regular push-ups. These are great for overall upper body strength, but if that's not possible for you yet, you can do them on your knees. Or change the angle you do the push-ups at to, for example, wall push-ups, and then gradually move down into a more horizontal position after time. On the other hand, if you find the regular push-up starting to become too easy, you could always elevate your legs. This way gravity lets us put more of our body weight on our working muscles. There are different variations to better target what muscle group you want to hit. First we have the close grip variation or diamond push-ups as many people like to call them. They hit your triceps more. On the other hand, a more wide grip approach targets your chest more. Also, if you feel like experimenting a little bit, when you start building that strength, you could always try some typewriter push-ups, but these can be harder. To the other push exercise I want to go over, we have the dips. Our goal for the push side of things will be to be able to do dips for reps and sets. Dips are not easy, but when you get good at them, this will be very useful for further progress when you will be able to load up more added weight. If you don't have P-bars available, you could always use a couple chairs. And same for the dips, there are a couple different variations that allow us to choose what muscles we want to hit. A regular hits shoulders, chest and triceps. But if you want to isolate triceps more, you could do bench dips on a bar like this or a chair like this. And if you're not able to do any dips at all, I would suggest starting with the push-ups and then build your way up from there. Now let's move on to pulling exercises, which target your bicep, lats and rear delts, or the back of your shoulders. Here are some effective exercises. The main one is gonna be pull-ups. To start it all off, we have the regular pull-ups, which is an essential for your upper body strength. This is an exercise that we will be using a lot in the future. This is first of all because it trains the way you use your back muscles together, which will be crucial later when you start working on more advanced movements like the front lever. And second of all, it's easy to add more weight when needed. The DIY method is a backpack filled with water bubbles. Another great variation is the chin up. This one targets your biceps more. For pull-ups, we also have different grip variations that will switch around a bit what muscles we target. With a closer grip, you will target your biceps more. A wider grip will target your lats more. So, gym bro advice, do wide pull-ups for a wide back. If you want to hit your forearms more, you could find yourself a thicker bar and do thumbless pull-ups. I can already hear you guys in the comments saying Oh, so you think I can do a pull-up already? Well, a great way to build up your way to be able to do the pull-ups is to do inverted rows. Where you can also change the grip variations like in the pull-up with a close grip and a wide grip. And then when you're getting a bit closer you can use the light rubber band for support when trying pull-ups. A pro tip is to ensure that you always have full range of motion in the pull-ups. This means that you fully extend your arms, not like this, but like this, and also get your chin all the way above the bar for each rep. Now for what level I think you should get to before you start learning advanced skills. I think you should aim for being able to do 5 sets of 20 repetitions in both pull-ups and dips, with less than 5 minutes rest in between the sets. 
I know this sounds like a lot, but when you get to the point of adding weight to your pull-ups and dips, your body weight reps will go up fast. For those of you who are ready to step it up already, here are some advanced exercises I think you can start with. Pike push-up. This will target your shoulders and lats. Add simulate a handstand push-up. It could also be done with elevated legs if you want it even harder. Second of all, we have the muscle-ups. This is actually the first real skill that I learned. If you want a free step-by-step -step guide on this skill, I have a free course made for you in my school community, Calisthenics Club. There will be a link in the description. Now let's talk about static holds, which are crucial for building strength in calisthenics. The first one you should start with is the handstand. This move is fundamental to unlock other difficult exercises down the road, like, for example, the 90 degree handstand push-up. And since it requires some time to build the muscle-mind connection, I would suggest you start right away. Now we can go into an example of what your routine could look like before getting into the pulling and pushing. I will start with some quick wrists and shoulder warm-up. And here you can rotate your wrist like this and swing your arms in circles while opening and closing your hands. This will get the blood flow going in your forearms as well. A quick stretch for the shoulders is the chicken wing stretch. Put your hands like this and then push your elbows together with your legs like this. Also, since your wrists weren't designed for handstands, a couple stretches here as well be smart. The ones I would advise will be palms to the ground, finger forward, forwardly, palms facing up, fingers back and then lean backwards, and then fingers facing each other and then you move around in circles. After that you can do three sets of 40 second handstand and if you fall between the 40 second mark just get up and try again until the 40 second has passed. So that would be my before workout routine as a beginner. Now let's get into more advanced static holds preparation exercises. For advanced static holds like the front lever and planche, you need a strong shoulder scapulas. Here are some exercises to strengthen them. The first exercise we have is scapula shrugs. Here your goal is not to push your back all the way back. It's just to present your shoulders and elbows and then activate your lats. The second exercise we have is planche leans. Make sure to have straight arms, protracted scapula and drive your hip towards the ground. Once you've mastered these fundamental exercises and holds, you're ready to move on to more advanced skills. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more calisthenics content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.